What's up guys, this is Tampa Tech and I'm gonna show you how to fix an LED LCD TV like this one. This is a Vizio LED TV model number is uh, VT3D47 but um, this may apply to other brands and other models TVs as well. well. I'm gonna show you how to check the standby voltage. I'm gonna show you um, how to check the main logic board and what to fix on this particular TV what normally or commonly goes bad and how to fix it. All right, so I'm gonna be using a Fluke multimeter. This is a really reliable meter. Make sure you have fresh batteries in your meter before you start testing voltage. All right, and I'm gonna be plugging in the TV. Once you plug in the TV, you should get standby voltage even though the TV is broken, it has no power. And this TV uh, has no power, but another common issue is having no picture. So let's go ahead and proceed checking the standby voltage. You want to put your black negative lead on the ground screw or you can use the chassis of the TV for a ground source. And next you're going to take the red positive lead on the meter to pin one and that is going to be your standby voltage. And I know this because I look at the chart and on the chart it says 5.1 volts pin one through four. So let's go ahead and read that. That's pin one and we are getting five volts. So let me go ahead and show you that right here. And we are getting right there five volts and it's steady. Now if the voltage drops to zero and goes back up to five, then you would check the um, capacitors. If these capacitors are bulged, replace them. But sometimes you may have a bad capacitor and may look good. So you have to take them out of circuit and read them and see if any of them, um, the microfarads has dropped or the ESR um, reading is dropped and I did a separate video how to check capacitors now that's going to be on my repair playlist but yeah mo most commonly if your voltage drops to zero and jumps back up to five volts then replace the capacitors that are in the power supply next uh, I would say is a bad voltage regulator that's usually mounted on a, a metal heat sink all right, so if you get the um, standby voltage and it's steady, like we just did, then follow this cable to the main logic board. But before you do that, another voltage to check is the feedback voltage from the main logic board. So let's go ahead and next check the, that voltage. And I'm gonna put my black lead again on a ground source, which should be right here. That's the chassis of the TV should be a good ground source. And we're gonna check the on off voltage. All right, so on pin 13, according to the chart, I should have voltage and I'm not getting any voltage. So let's go ahead and press the power button on the TV and see if I get voltage. I believe it should be three volts. That's the logic voltage, a uh, feedback voltage from the main logic board. Let's press power and check pin 13 again and not getting anything. So that's zero volts. Let's try again. Now, if you're getting standby voltage going to the main logic board, but you get no feedback voltage after pressing the on button on the TV, going back to the uh, power board, then yeah, I would definitely focus on the main logic board. You can replace the main, main logic board, but uh, a common repair is removing the, this heat sink and replacing the IC, which is a very uh, complicated repair if you don't have the right tools. So if you don't have the right tools for that repair, which consists of solder paste and flux paste and a, a hot air tool and digital microscope, then just replace the main logic board. So I just got the board in and this is, this is actually the board. Electropartsonline.com is a really great place to get boards, really low prices on their boards, 180 day warranty, ships worldwide, and hassle free exchanges. Check out the link in the video description below and use the coupon code Tampa Tech Friend. We're going to unplug the TV and let's go ahead and remove this and this. You want to just lift up on these latches and slide these out just like that and pinch and pull these connectors out. Don't pull on the wires. You can uh, rip out the wire from the connection. All right, got this board, put in the new board. Do not do this over a carpet. All right, make sure the board matches up and make sure the part number is matching up. So this part number is on the sticker right here. And the last four is 0150, 
and parentheses it's 4c and that's what we got right here 0, 1, 5, 0, parentheses 4c so that's it's good so if the TV board doesn't come off it's usually this lock nut right here that's preventing the TV board from coming off and put the ribbon cable connection in evenly make sure that latch lines up with that line on that ribbon cable connection or else you're not going to have a good picture and let's go ahead and slide that in right here and then lock it in okay lock that down oh that's wrong didn't line up there you go now if that line doesn't line up or it's crooked that means um, you may get an issue afterwards right, remove this from the old board and plug this in this is the wi-fi board all right, so the TV is on, and then it goes berserk again. So now we have a whole new issue. At first, when I turned the TV on, this was red, um, flashing red, no, orange and white, orange and white for a few minutes, and then it turned on. And then when it turned on, we got a good image for a second, and then it just went bad. All right, so after running the TV for a little while, the vertical line stopped and the buzzing stopped but now all I'm left with is a backlight and the white light on on the Vizio TV bezel and when I press the power button right here and hold it for a couple seconds it'll turn off alright so there is logic and there is backlight and the TV turns on and off so I think it's TCOM board so we have good backlight we have uh, there is logic and but no video and it looks like oh it sounds like there's a buzzing noise coming from that board right here the TCOM board which is connected to the LCD panel and that would make sense why there's no picture so I'm gonna have to order the TCOM board and the port number is right here on the sticker all right finally got the board in I got the board the TCOM board from electropartsonline.com if you're interested check out the link in the video description below they have amazing prices there are uh, board warranty is great the return policy is amazing and I communicated with Michael and he got me a discount for you guys it's called Tampa Tech friend and you get 10% off it's uh, for one use only but if you want um, continuous discounts check out um, it's uh, the coupon code is no more eBay 5 all one word and that is unli unlimited 5% off at checkout so yeah it's a really great place um, if you can't find boards on Amazon, eBay, Shop Jimmy, check definitely check out electropartsonline.com. They have great prices. So we're gonna unplug the power. And this board was under 50 bucks. So when you pull this off, make sure the thermal pads are left on the chassis. Because you don't want the thermal pads stuck on the board. Alright, so let's go ahead and put in the new board. A refurbished board actually. And just set it back down in its spot. This is a very easy repair, anyone can do it. But if you have no picture and the TV is black, like completely dark, you don't have a backlight glow, then it's usually um, something wrong with your, ba uh, your LED circuit, your backlight LED circuit. It could be the LED driver board or it could be the LED strips that are defective, which I made a totally separate video how to do that, how to replace the LED strips. If the line is crooked alongside of that latch, then you want to remove it and then try again and put it back in otherwise you're gonna get lines in the screen or weird things like half a picture weird things going on on your LCD screen see that's how you do it plug it in and let it warm up for five minutes so make sure you let it warm up for five minutes or else it's not gonna work alright and that's gonna flash for again five minutes so it stopped flashing, it's now orange, which means it's in, the TV's in standby mode. We're going to press the power button, TV, the logo turns white, means the TV's turning on. And up, oh, we got the logo, screen looks good, we got the backlight glow, the logo looks good so far. Let me uh, hit the menu button. We got a working TV. So if you have a Vizio XVT 3D 47 model 
and you have no power but you do have standby voltage then check your main logic board if you have video distortion or no picture but you do have a you know your backlight glow is shining meaning that um, there is the glow in the background so if you turn off your off your lights like this right here and you see that glow from the TV that means your LED backlight circuit is good and if you have no picture then it's the T-COM board that's defective but if you have no backlight glow then it's either your LED driver board that's bad or your LED strips are bad also another way to find out if you have a backlight then um, just look at the um, back of the TV if you see all the lights shining from the holes on the back chassis of the TV then obviously your backlight's working yeah, so check out the link in the video description below. If this video was informative, give me a big thumbs up. If you want more how-to videos like this coming your way, click on the subscribe button right here or down below. And if you want to check out some of my other how-to videos, that's a little bit, more, it goes more, it's more involved. Check out the how-to videos right here. And if you know anyone with a broken Vizio TV, uh, yeah, click on the share button below and share this video to them. Help someone out. Later, guys. Bye.